This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. All right, so I'm standing here with uh, Representative Dick Marston of Manchester Ward 12. Um, you're uh, you're also uh, a state rep, um, but you have some interest, a lot of interest in the um, the school board politics right. in in uh, Manchester. And I normally actually don't talk a lot to people that I agree with. I'd rather talk to someone who disagrees with me. But but you've got something interesting going on. I think it is probably worth talking about. And you you've talk, you're talking about launching an investigation of your own into the the firing of uh, controversial superintendent well, Mary McGorry. She wasn't fired. She resigned. Well, that's and right. She's under a cloak of secrecy here, under a hush hush, and nobody's telling anybody. And it's like, wait a minute. We've spent over a hundred thousand dollars, fifty thousand, going to a lawyer firm, and they're cloaking this under some privacy issues concerning uh, employee privileges or something, I'm going, well, wait a minute, maybe we need to come up here to the State House and look at a change in the law that says when there's public money involved in this thing, that there's going to have to give some disclosure, they're going to have to tell something. I mean, the school committee voted not to hear the report, which doesn't make any sense. If you're a school committee man and you spend $50,000, I would surely hope that you might want to have some knowledge as to what you spent the money on, and the public would want to know that because this is taxpayer money, and yet it's all hush-hush. Do you feel comfortable being kept in the dark regarding the Mary McGorry situation? You sure do walk fast. And it's all because of some, uh, some ideology that I'm not sure pertains. I mean, they didn't have any committee meetings behind the scenes or any of that. They just suspended the woman, and because Ms. McGorry said, I'm going to resign, it now goes under, nope, we don't need to know. And she gets a bunch of money after she being gone. She gets a bunch so. of money, she gets all kinds of things yeah. and so on and so forth. And basically the but, city got hosed. But as you may know, a gentleman who just recorded an interview with her was put in jail for um, for that. Did I didn't you know, know about that. that? Uh, no. There was an independent journalist like me who he interviewed her over the phone. He was asking questions about that beating of the student. Okay. And uh, it was videotaped, a videotaped beating of a student by the school I resource that officer. Issue a while back. He asked her some questions about that went to jail. Kid you over not. what? He is not allowed to record an interview with her, apparently. Oh, oh. Now, it's because he did it over the phone, uh, and he didn't inform her that he was recording. Oh. It is illegal. Right. He uh, should have told in, her. In okay. theory, so I, at least. That's a different situation. Well, whether it's illegal or not doesn't mean but it's he wrong. Have, he should yeah. have told her what he's doing. He, he, well, maybe. maybe. You know, again, in Texas, you don't have to. So is it all, all the people in Texas evil because they do it without informing? Right. You know, so... Right. Um, but my issue yeah. is, we've got a hush-hush situation, as the union leader called it. We've got a cloak of secrecy here. Mm -hmm. The mayor didn't find out. Nobody knows. And yet we've spent a shitload of money. I probably shouldn't say that. I don't know you can edit that. But my okay. point <laughs> being is, you know, we need to... Why? Why? Uh, maybe I need to have a... Well, it's because it's, a, the, it's the People's Republic of Board of Education Manchester, right? right. I mean, they, well, they keep things, you know, under wraps. They don't want to talk. There's supposedly nothing like... Supposedly, this is a personnel issue, and I... I that may or may not be the case, but we still need to know a little bit more because maybe this thing rose to a criminal. Yeah. Well, uh, I've heard. I've heard. We don't know that. I've heard pretty strong speculation that it has not because they would have already been prosecuted. But who knows? Who knows? And and if also, you don't put I guess, it out in fairness, day, who knows? I should back up too, in fairness, and say that there are school, there are people on the school board that are pretty talkative, and they will they will engage. You know, when I ask them questions, they'll they'll do a pretty good job of answering my questions. But there's so much more of this walk past without talking to you than you than I would ever get at the state house. People will talk to me if I ask them a hostile question. But, anyway. but these people, this is this, this, this People's Republic of. You know, Manchester Board of Education, or whatever they so call what it. So what I'm yeah. doing is I'm going to keep trying to find out more information, my own personal investigation, because I may consider putting in a bill that would change the way they handle this, so that yeah. the public does get the right to find out how did we spend one hundred and fifty thousand dollars? That's her salary for one mm -hmm. year, plus the the cost of going out and investigating, all her benefits. We didn't count that up. This is a ton of money. Yep. And we got nothing. What do we get the show for? Zippo. That's this government education for you. So maybe but, you we know, need I, to change the law. I pray that, that your change to the law will not add any, any new text. I want to see a smaller number of words in the law, not a larger number. I appreciate it. Thank so you for Maybe repeal something. Me. I don't know. We'll see where this goes, <laughs> and I plan on just finding out what happened. Why. Okay. Thank well, you. Thanks, Mr. Martin. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. 
Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone, plus get this, blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info, it's a great place for Bitcoins to go.